Hi, sweet friends. Thanks again for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Amy and welcome to Simply Our Home. In today's video, we're going to be decorating my farmhouse hutch. Now, if you've enjoyed my summer decorating series so far, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And if you enjoy decorating, definitely hit that subscribe button before you go. All right, friends, well, let's go ahead and get started. As I mentioned before, we're here in our dining room. And for today's video, we're only going to be decorating our farmhouse hutch, and that's going to be part one. Now, if you want to see part two, definitely meet me back here next time, and we'll decorate the rest of the dining room, making some changes and adding some summery decor. Now, this year, I've really been drawn to lots of warm colors, like woods and also copper mixed in with white and then that pop of yellow for that bright, summery, cheerful look. So that's what I'll be doing here on our hutch. If you remember, I got this hutch off of Facebook Marketplace about one, one and a half years ago, and it was a great find. It was only $100, it was in great shape, but I wanted to transform it and make it feel a little bit more farmhouse and cottagey. So I tried my hand for the first time at chalk painting. So if you happen to miss that video, I'll go ahead and link it up here in a card and you can go back and watch the whole transformation process. But I've absolutely loved decorating this piece throughout all the seasons and holidays. So I thought we would decorate it from top to bottom together today. Starting at the top, as you can see, there's quite a bit of a space from the top of the cabinet to the ceiling. So I really want to fill that space with the core so that it pulls your eye upward. The first piece that I'll be adding is this beautiful medallion that I purchased at Kirkland's on their clearance rack. Now I love it because it has that black rim or frame and I think that's going to tie in really well with all of our black elements like our curtain rods as well as our black chandelier. And then for the center carving, I really think that kind of resembles a flower and I think that is perfect for summer. Now when I place this on top, you'll see I'm not going to be placing it directly in the center. Instead, I'm going to be putting it all the way to the side and then adding decor later so that we make that triangle or that movement that is really important in design. So let's go ahead and place this and then begin adding to it. The next piece that I want to layer in front, you might remember seeing, but I actually have two of them. And that is this beautiful little lemon print that is from Hobby Lobby. Now, unfortunately, I got this a couple years ago, and so it's no longer available, and I can't link that for you. But a quick idea that you can do is just buy a large frame that is super popular right now with a thick mat, and then go onto Google search and find a printable image that you like that goes with your decor, pop it inside, and you have instant art for pretty cheap. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer that in front of the medallion and we can see how that looks. Now I'm coming in with this beautiful copper piece. I actually got this at decorsteels.com. If you haven't checked them out, definitely go over and look at their unique cottagey farmhouse decor items. Now, you know I'm loving copper, so I just had to place a piece up here on the top. And what I like to do when I layer objects, as you can see, they overlap and then they have a vertical line shooting up. Well, I like to take a decor piece and place in front of that to kind of conceal that and it just makes it look like an overall complete arrangement instead of so many angles and vertical lines. So you see what I mean when I put it up here. And as you see, it does conceal the one side of the painting, but I think it just makes this whole arrangement look like one cohesive unit. Let me just scoot it over to the side and you can just see the difference. Okay. 
So in my opinion, I just love the other way a little bit more. And just by moving it, what, three, four inches, I think it just makes a big impact. Now we need to add a bit of texture. And so you know how I love my favorite greenery, which is the green baby's breath from Hobby Lobby. It's a garland. I've actually cut it in two and you'll see why, but we're going to use this first one over here on this side. And then a little later, we'll come back in and add the second piece to add texture across the top. So before we add the second piece of greenery, I want to fill in that space over here. And I want to add in a more earthy, darker tone. And so I went and I grabbed these two vases. If you remember, these are the ones that I used that DIY age technique on. So if you happen to miss that video, definitely go check that out and you'll be able to make yourself some really unique pieces that look high end, but that are very, very cost effective. So I'm gonna go ahead and place them over here. And what I like about this is that you can have different varying heights, again, causing your eye to move across the area. Also, because our cabinet actually has a recessed area, I'm gonna fill it in with a book so that's nice and flat, and then I'll place the two different vases on top. If you've been around a while, you know I'm all about the small little details. So that taller vase, I think it just needs a teeny little boost. So what I'm doing is grabbing this little lid that actually came off of a glass container that I'm no longer using. And so I'm gonna flip that up like this and then boost that up just a bit to make it look even better. There's definitely not that much of a difference, but to me that looks better and elevates it to kind of equal and balance out the other side. Another tip or thing that I like to do is look at your artwork and then take from that and pull that image out in front and use a decor piece to complement it. So what I'm thinking is adding a basket. This one here came from the Goodwill. I think I got it for like 55 cents. So if you're on a budget, definitely check out Goodwill as well as any thrift store. You can get really great decor for cheap because I know at Hobby Lobby, they sell baskets for quite a lot more. And of course your upscale stores even more. But what I'm thinking is placing this basket with some lemons trailing out. And I think that will just really complement that art piece really well. Now to balance and add a little bit of yellow right about here, I'm going in with a stack of bowls. These came from TJ Maxx. I always love the different bowls that you can find there. And I've just gone ahead and placed a few little lemons in there for a pop of yellow on this side. Okay, so this is how the top turned out. I love it. I think it has just the right amount of pop of yellow. It is balanced in different colors, like the whites as well as the natural colors. And then it's full of texture with the greenery and also the basket. Okay, friends, we are moving and grooving right along. And so now we can start to style the two shelves. We'll start with the top one first. Now this one is pretty narrow and it also is shorter because of that beautiful detailing in the cabinet. So I like to keep my decor a little bit on the smaller scale. 
So for the backdrop though, I'm bringing in a pop of yellow with these beautiful salad plates. If you remember, I shared these in a haul. If you happen to miss that, I can link it up here in a card for you. But I love this pop of yellow. And also I think I'll be able to use them perfectly in the fall as well. Now, when you see me place these on the shelves, you're gonna see that I place them a little differently from the top to the bottom. And if you remember, I'm trying to create movement with triangles. So when I place these salad plates on the top, I'm gonna to keep them a little bit more close together. And then on this shelf, I'm gonna spread them out so that you create that triangle shape. You'll see what I mean a little bit later. So let's go ahead and place these along the back for a beautiful pop of yellow and a perfect backdrop for summer. Now I'm gonna come in with some smaller pieces in front of those plates, and I'm using some creamers that I've collected from different places. This one here is from the Threshold brand at Target. This one I believe was from Hobby Lobby. Then I also have this beautiful small little tea kettle that was an antique find, as well as this creamer that was from my false graph collection. So I'm just going to get those placed evenly and then we can work from there. Now for each side, I want to add a little bit of balance, but nothing too heavy. So I'm going in with some glass pieces. This first one I found in an antique store. I thought that was adorable. I think it's maybe for maple syrup or something like that. So I love that. And then for the opposite side, I found this at Goodwill. It's a little honey jar. And again, with it being white and a reflective element, it's not going to look heavy on the sides. So let's go ahead and place these. punch it up a notch and also bring some uniformity in the two shelves like the top and the shelf. I'm going to bring in a couple sprigs off of that green baby's breath and stick them in every so often and then also I'm adding in a few little sprigs of this yellow flower. Okay, so now for the second shelf, like I mentioned, I'm going to be placing the salad plates a little further apart to create that triangular effect. So let's go ahead and place them as that backdrop on the shelf as well. Now for some symmetry, I want to add in the center some garden moss balls. Now for the first one, I thought I would add this cloche. Now this one I actually got at the 75% off clearance sale from Hobby Lobby. So it was only $6.24, such a great deal. You can also get these off of Amazon and I can have a few of those linked down below as well. But what I thought was I would pop one of the balls inside and it just barely fits. I already went and tested it. So very tight fit, but it does fit. Let me just push it on in here like so. And so I think that looks super cute. 
and I'm gonna place it on this side. So I could easily go ahead and grab my other cloche and do the exact same thing, but I think it's kind of more interesting to use the same elements, but in different ways. So because I'm using a garden ball, I thought I would just elevate it on this cake stand. I got this one at Hobby Lobby. Now you can get these sometimes in the Target dollar spot for real cheap. So keep an eye out for these little stands and I'm just gonna pop this on top and then place it on the opposite side. As I'm looking at the arrangement, I also like the placement of the glass items. As you see, we have one here, one here, and one here, making a, what do you see? A triangle. So that's also a good rule of thumb to stand back and look at your pieces. And let me just be completely honest, sometimes I will pause the video, step back, sit down and look at the arrangement for 15 to 20 minutes. So don't feel frustrated if you can't get it the first time. Definitely step back, take a break and let your creative juices like just start flowing and come back refreshed and ready to decorate once again. So the, for the center of this shelf, I'm coming in with a larger piece. I love this dish and all of its texture. I think I either got this at Home Goods or TJ Maxx, but again, I love the texture and also the cute little lid. And so that's going in the center and then we'll work on the sides to just balance everything out. All right, now I want to come in with some warm elements. So I have this cute little basket that I found from Hobby Lobby, and I think I'll try to put this on one of the sides. And then for the other side, I'm gonna come in with this mortal and pestle that is from TJ Maxx. So these warmer tones, it's just going to add lots of texture and again, warm up the space. Also, when you're placing your items on your shelves, don't be afraid to add depth by putting them in front of each other and staggering their placement. Again, that adds depth and interest. So let's go ahead and place these. Now let's go ahead and bring in a touch of white and then I'm adding these aged and collected utensils inside. They're very small and I think it just fits in here perfectly, kind of like a little canister. And I love, again, that texture and I think it kind of coordinates well with that centerpiece. So I'm gonna tuck that behind the basket. to the opposite side to balance out that white and separate the woods. I think this cute little sugar container that matches the false graph that is right up here will look great there. And then to pull in just a bit of yellow, I'm going to add just another sprig of that flower down here beside it as well. Okay, friends, now if you've been here for a while, you know I wouldn't be true to myself and it wouldn't be decorating if I didn't add a couple cutting boards. You know my obsession with them. So I picked these two out. I think they are going to look really pretty as a backdrop against the white, and then they are gonna set behind a flower arrangement that I'll create in my crock.
last but not least, I'm going to add in some more glass through these glass goblets that I got at Goodwill, a set of six for only $2. I'm only gonna be using four here today. And then also I'm bringing in another copper piece that I picked up from TJ Maxx. And I'm just gonna place that on the cabinet there and call it done. Okay, sweet friends, that wraps up today's decorating here on our hutch for summer. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember, this is just part one, so catch me back next time for part two when we decorate the rest of the dining room. I hope to see you back then. I thank you so much for joining me today. And if you did enjoy the video and got some new ideas, definitely let me know down in the comments. As always, give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I hope that you'll consider that are subscribing before you go. So I'll leave you today with a final look at the hutch and also share with you today's encouraging Bible verse, which comes from Romans chapter eight, verse 28, and it reads, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. If you're looking for more summer decorating ideas, I'll leave my playlist here at the end so you can continue watching. You might also be looking for some outdoor summer decorating ideas, so I got you covered there too, and I'll leave my back deck patio makeover here at the end as well. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and thanks again for sharing a bit of that day with me. I'll see you real soon in my next one. Take care and God bless friends. Bye.